said, ladies, I'm the next Richard Branson But got no version, so they sucking me in tandem I prefer Mr. Unstoppable And when I'm doing nothing, Mr. Impossible I'ma lift a finger, put your mixtape in the hospital Nurse coming closer just to witness all that I, I figured can. out, um, because, of, because of my experience uh, I coached wrestling for a long time a wrestler's work ethic, drilling, is what ultimately makes the greatest wrestlers drill a lot. They're drilling on timing, they're drilling on positioning, they're drilling on the actual technique, they're drilling on the mechanics to where the mechanics are, are, are smooth and robotic, right? So that's a great asset to have. Jiu-Jitsu has a completely different concept. But when you, when, when you go to a wrestler and you say, fix my problem, the usual answer is drive harder or you just, you just do this. They don't understand the mechanics of the body enough, not, they, they kind of do at a surface level, if you get an angle, if you cut a corner, yeah. I mean, yeah, the vast majority of them kind of have an idea of the technicality, but they actually are missing a lot of the, of, of the key step-by-step -step points that I have picked up in jujitsu. So if you can combine uh, the liveness, the live element, of the wrestling, the liveness of the class, it brings forth um, balance, uh, coordination, muscle memory, you know, core strength, and all these basic concepts when you're doing things live, you, you have to adjust. Um, so if you bring that, and then you allow the student to fail. Go out there, all you gotta do is do this. And then when they go out there, you already know what kinds of problems the opponent is gonna present. And then I bring them back, I say, guys, what was the problem? Did anybody have problems? Yeah, the guy's doing X. Great, so now the battle becomes, how can I get past X? And I'll take two or three problems, maybe one or two problems, very simple, one thing at a time. And then, um, you know, generally the, you know, by using jujitsu concept and philosophy of disconnection, absorption, deflection, these things that I'm doing all the time anyways, it allows me to technically break down the mechanics of the move, so now when I tell the student, these are the corrections I want you to look for, then you send them back out without really even having to drill. The student's mind has been shifted, so now the battle and the focuses have been shifted within the individual moves and the success rate has been astronomical. I have a, a kid's class. Uh, right now, the, the kid's class is, you know, the range is anywhere from five to about 12, 11, 12 years old. Um, and then I teach a women's class, and that, that class is Monday through Thursday at, um, at five o'clock, right? I teach the kids how to use the force. I teach everybody how to use the force, right? That's the, the concept. I have a women's class on Saturday mornings at 9 a.m. Uh, and again, it's a very specific class. We're dealing with very specific kinds of problems and working around those individual problems that women would have in a self-defense scenario, you know. We cover things both standing and on the ground. We cover distance management. We, we cover understanding angles. We, we cover preventing clinching. We cover getting up from guard. We cover um, escaping mount, you know, punch defense from guard and mount and side mount. Um, basic conceptual understanding of punch defense. Uh, my teaching philosophy can be described in two, really with two, two sentences, right? One is allow the student to fail. Allow the student to truly understand what kinds of problems are being presented to them, right? And secondly, find simplistic technical uh, solutions to those problems using absorption, connection, leverage, timing, deflection, you know, all the basic concepts that we're, that we're preaching the entire time. You know, I, d I definitely think that people should come to my gym if they're looking for something very specific. What I'm teaching in my gym is self-defense with a very, very high level under of understanding of punch defense. I understand I'm very targeted in, in problem solving and giving people realistic scenarios following a systematic approach to learning. Most of the time people, when they're doing things live, do things wrong. They just don't realize that they're doing it wrong. They're doing their natural ability. So by allowing somebody to fail, and then them truly understanding what is causing the failure. Because a lot of times you ask people what went wrong and they'll answer the question and it's actually not at all what's wrong. You know what I mean? So them truly understanding the root of the problem and then coming up with a simplistic way to fix that problem. What I'm merging between Jiu Jitsu and wrestling is the live element of, of wrestling 
with a technical breakdown of jiu-jitsu. Uh, anybody who's watching this video, I offer you guys a free week so you can come in, try the system, and we'll see you soon.